Today I want to talk about mental health. Hold on, I could just not count up the bread right now. Hold on, y'all case of this coming through. I could at 34, y'all yeah, know that. Right in the heart of the urban <laughs> metropolis. We're about to hit the Aboga type beat. And then we're going to talk about hallucinogenics, psychoactives, the brain, neurologics, mental health, and life. Let's get that. No money. Hey, what's up, my quesadillas? Today I want to talk about mental health. Totally not because we have a mental health sponsor. No, no. I've actually wanted to talk about this. This life shit is cyclical. And my circles are long. I spend long revolutions lost before I find something that dilates me again. What I find are sacred things. Crystals. Kirk's instruments, numbers, the lucky charms of the traditions, acts that ground me to Mother Earth, whatever hits me in the pineal gland. To me, YouTube is like space. The YouTube space. I didn't think this area of my life would ever feel sacred. But with this mental health video, it feels like YouTube came into my celestial orbit, so to speak. Synchronicity works out perfect because lately I've been telling the camera all the things that I need to get off my chest. Thinking I'll post it and ended up not. I found that just getting it off my chest was enough. My mindset was very dualistic. It's this or that. So if I tell the camera, I'm telling humanity. But no. No, no. I have the right to my own space. My own privacy. It actually could have been quite a disaster if I uploaded the information I shared. In the brink of time, I was able to come out of the world of dreams and into the world of responsibility, the world of consequence, the world of result. I told my friends and family my problem, but it didn't scratch that itch. It felt like, huh. Okay, now what? I thought I'd have release. I thought something would happen. But I realized it's not that I wanted to feel like I said something satisfying for the listener. It's not that I wanted someone to be satisfied listening to anything I say. It's that I wanted to feel like the listener isn't satisfied until I am. And... I'm not satisfied until the listener is. The camera was that for me. Thinking that I was gonna post it was that for me. I felt like the case it did listened spiritually. But yeah, like people need that. They need a yin to their yang, so that brings us to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And this is an important mission because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you're limited to the options in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online. It's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. It's easy to sign up and get matched with the therapist. There's a link in my description. It's betterhelp.com slash K. Clicking that link helps support this channel, but it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp, so you can connect with the therapist and see if it helps you. And because finding a therapist is a little like dating, if you don't really fit with that therapist, which is a common thing with therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. 
without stressing about insurance, who's in your network or anything like that. The therapist I matched with personally is you. In the spiritual world, call it the quesadilla world. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy at BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash K. Thank you again to BetterHelp for supporting this channel. I hope your biscuits are buttered, my quesadillas. See you in the next one.